we're going to look at plotting logarithmic graphs or log graphs for two types of exponential curves. The first where x is as the base and it's being powered to the power n. The second is where x is the power. Here's an example. Given y equals ax to the n, plot the graph of log y against log x. So if we're plotting a log graph, the reason to do that is to make what would be an exponential graph become a linear graph. So exponential would be something that rises like that, but linear is just a straight line. So here it's asking us to plot the graph of log y against log x. So how would we do this? Well, we have to rearrange this formula to give us log y and log x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log both sides. So log y equals log of this whole thing, ax to the n. Now here a really common mistake is to think, ah, oh, I know my log rules, I'll bring this n down in front. You can't do that. The reason is because the a isn't also to the power n. If it was, and we had something like that, so ax to the n, then you could bring that n down. But as it is, um, you can't. So first of all, you have to use another log rule, which allows you to split them up. So we've got log of a plus log x to the n. Now you can bring that n down. So log of a stays the same, plus bring the n down, and we have log x. We want to make this of the form y equals mx plus c. So here's my x. I'm going to put this here, and we'll see why in a moment. Log a, and on this side we have log y. Now we're going to compare this equation to y equals mx plus c. And if we do that, we should be able to see, well, here's my y, here's my y, so I've labelled my y-axis log y. My x, which would normally be on my x-axis, well, that's now log x. So I can see that my m and my n are equal. So I can say here, comparing these, that my m must equal n. And likewise, my plus c, well, if I compare it to this equation, c must then equal log a. So getting it into this form and comparing it to y equals mx plus c, I can look at, well, this is my x-axis, the log x, this is my x-axis, x, so my m is what's in front, which is n. So on my log graph, I can say, well, I know that the gradient, so my gradient is going to equal n, and I know that my intercept here, my y-intercept, which is c, is going to be log a. It crosses the y-axis at log a. In this instance, we're being told y equals ab to the x, plot the graph of log y against x. So this is a slightly different exponential curve that we're trying to make linear. So it would look something like that, an exponential, but we want to make it linear. So here we're going to uh, make the y-axis log y and the x-axis we're going to leave as x. So we have to find our log y from this equation, and we're going to do it by logging both sides, just like we did before. Now we're going to remember that we can't just bring this x down. We've got to first split it up, because the a isn't to the power x. It's only the b that is to the power x. So log a plus log b to the x. Now we can bring the x down. Remembering that we're going to compare it to the linear graph y equals mx plus c, I'm going to rewrite this in what will look like a strange way. Log b x plus log a. And I'll just write in this 
left hand side as well. So now we're ready to compare to our known equation of a line, which is y equals mx plus c. Let's have a look at this then. We've got y, well this is our y now, it's on our, it's labelled as our y-axis, log y. Our m is in front of our x, so what's in front of our x here? Ah, well it's log b. So I can say that this log b and this m are the same. Likewise, our intercept is always the additional term that doesn't contain an x. So I can come down here and say, I now know what my gradient is. My gradient m is equal to log b, that's my coefficient of x, and my c, my y-intercept, is equal to log a. So here where it crosses the y-axis, I can label that now log a. And my gradient here is going to be equal to log b. Notice that the gradient doesn't change. It's always going to be log b because it's a straight line. So at every point on this line, the gradient will be log b.